we have continued to make progress. We're in 16 countries today. We formed a joint venture with Siemens to market lithium ion batteries in uh, six, uh, all over the world. Actually, it's 160 countries. So this is a technology which uh, at the time you were wondering whether its time had come. And I said, yes, it is. And I can give you some examples. Uh, for example, when there were problems at Aliso Canyon, the solution to having uh, energy delivered in that area was energy storage. If you look at the case, for example, the Dominican Republic, we had batteries there. And when they got hit by the hurricane, they did not have all of the problems say, that Puerto Rico had. Oh, one of your selling points for, for AES and the reason that it's at a three-year high mm -hmm. is that you're approaching investment grade. Correct. Right? That's not coming from battery sales. You're, you're, no. doing a, you're doing 100 million in battery sales, and it's a $9 billion market cap company. No, absolutely. AES does everything other than nuclear. I'll so, say. You know, so we have coal plants, we have gas plants, we have hydros, uh, we have renewables, wind, we have solar. Uh, just last week, we inaugurated the first LNG regasification plant in Central America, in Panama. Panama yeah. And that's going to be drawing, for example, a couple hundred million dollars of U.S. exports what, of LNG. What, what do you think investors, why are they rewarding your efforts, I think, because of LNG, not from any of this other, you know, the, the sexy stuff yeah. that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. LNG is still yeah. hydrocarbons, and you're still using it, and that's where you're generating sure. a lot of the power that, that, that you're selling. Right? Well, well, I think all of it. I think that the fact that we're able to integrate renewables into the existing power. I really think that's the, for the sort of medium term, the future of the industry. Because what people, when they talk about renewables, they don't realize renewables is just energy. They're intermittent. What people need to keep the lights on 24 seven is capacity. Where's capacity gonna come from? It's gonna come from conventional power, whether it be hydro or fossil, or you can have batteries. So you have to have a lot of batteries to have capacity. Now, the first 24 seven, renewables uh, really in the world, we're doing on the island of Kauai. And that, we have five hour batteries. Now in most cases, it's just too expensive. But you can do it, but it's gonna be a transition. You know, battery costs have come down about 60% uh, over the last five years. They'll probably come down another 60% over the next 10. So it's a transition, and you do need to use, you know, conventional fuels over that time period. And, and, and performance over that time period while the, while the prices come down has, has improved? Or? Uh, well, I think that the, the battery, yeah, performance, you continue to have technological improvements. And so, you know, we've been operating energy storage for 10 years. Uh, we've really had no problems. We're on our fifth design. And that's why Siemens teamed up together with us uh, to market this technology around the world. That's almost like, it seems like a, a, a wild card for you at, at AES. So that may, be, that may be part of the multiple on, on the investors are giving you right now, but a lot of it is your bread and butter. Oh, I, I, absolutely. But I do think that people are seeing AES as a leader in technology. Yeah. Uh, and so we are not only the leaders in lithium ion batteries, we're the leaders in drones, for example, drone applications. Uh, we're also, uh, I would say, leaders in sort of integrating uh, renewables with conventional power. You know, how do you run a coal plant differently to lower your carbon footprint uh, with renewables? Because in many, we, we operate, you know, in 16 countries. So in many cases, uh, it's cheaper to put in renewables without subsidies than actually burn fuel. You mentioned the, the decline in the cost of batteries of energy mm -hmm. storage. The skeptical case has been that it won't decline in cost that rapidly. In other words, it's not like Moore's law with computing capacity. It's chemistry, right? And so the engineering advances are not necessarily going to rapidly make it that much more competitive with other forms of energy. What do you think? Um, yeah, there, there's no Moore's law in lithium ion batteries. It's really economies of scale. We really haven't seen dramatic technological breakthroughs, but they're around the corner.